This No Shave November thing is killing me, man. I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. So, i uh, got a review to do for you today. And it's on the Toda Lohan MX-6 flashlight. And, uh, yeah, a lot of you like the review I did on the little J5 tactical lights. I have one here I used to work on guitars with. I carry one with me almost everywhere I go. Uh, everybody in the family's got one. We keep them in all the vehicles. <laughs> and from what I understand, you know, a lot of you subscribers went out and bought these lights uh, after you saw the review. So if you like that review, you might like this one better. Because I think I may have ran on to a better flashlight. I've been, like I said, I've been getting a lot of uh, companies contacting me wanting me to review stuff on my channel. They give me their link, I go look at it, you know, and read and study about it. And, uh, you know, I make sure it's a really a good product, or what I think is a really good product, before I'm ever going to review it on here and tell you guys about it. This is the flashlight. It's, I've had it several days. I just haven't been buried in work. I haven't had a chance. I wanted to show you, though, I'm going to put a link below for this uh, Toda Lohan MX-6 flashlight. And uh, if you click that link and if you buy this light, this is exactly how it's going to come to you in the mail. So we're going to review uh, right down to how it's packed, you know. So I'll bring you over here closer in just a few minutes. We'll go ahead and cut the box open here now. Maybe. Like I say, I haven't even looked at this yet, but I did do my homework on it. And it does look like a very, very good product. You know what? I'll bring you over here so you can see. I, I gotta break away, but I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm gonna bring you over here close so you can see exactly how it's packed. You know, uh, they want me to do a review on it. I'm gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna do a review on it. We're gonna take it apart. Hold on. Okay, so I just cut the box open and uh, broke away just long enough to move you guys over here closer to me, and it looks like it's packed very well. These uh, a lot of companies send you things so they don't do any packing whatsoever. So uh, you got to give them a thumbs up for uh, packing the thing. Pretty nice. Here's that's all that's in that box. This is the way you're going to get it, people. If you go to if you go to the link down below and uh, buy the light from that link, then you're going to get. What you just see me take out of the box, it's going to arrive just like that. This one's been open, or it's still open. Total low hand, high performance LED flashlight. This has the Cree LED in it, too, by the way. It's a little bigger than the J5 tactical lights that uh, we did before. I guess that's just, yeah. I, ne I never read that stuff or look at it. But there's the light, and like I say, I've done quite a bit of homework on this, so, uh, well, I don't know, I see a lot of glare there, I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. It works, uh, it's got a spot and a zoom. You work that by moving the head in and out. I guess the batteries are in it. Um, this is a battery charger. In fact, we'll look at it first. Okay, here's uh, the battery charger. And it doesn't use AA batteries, standard AA batteries. You remember I told you with these little lights, uh, you can put it, they'll use double A, but you can order, I don't remember the number now, but you can order more powerful batteries. Like a double A is 1.5 volts, uh, the milliamps depends, but you can order batteries from China for these little lights, you know, J5 tactical lights, and they're like three, I think 3.7 volts, maybe three point something, way more powerful for those little lights. But anyway, back to the uh, Toda Lohan. There's the charger that comes with it. I'm going to immediately, 
before I even turn the light on, I assume the batteries are in it, but like I said, they want a review. I'm going to give them a review on this light. They want my honest opinion. So, uh, let me show you what the batteries get. Here's a double A battery, okay, and a cheap one at that. That's a double A battery, and here are the batteries that come with this light. So you can see they're quite a bit bigger than double A, and quite a bit more powerful too. Now let me put this back in the J5 tactical. But yeah, they uh, they wanted me to review it, so I'm going to break it down here and really look it over. 2200 milliamp hours, 3.7 volts times two. That's got to be a powerful light. Uh, first thing I notice right off the bat is there is an O-ring right here, okay? I guess they were uh, for some water protection. And I assume that head screws off, it does. We'd like to see an O-ring here too. And there's a clip, but no O-ring. Hmm. Very odd. Well, there is no O-ring there, folks. That's a, a little bit of a disappointment. It does have some kind of grease or lubricant on it, I'm assuming, to help prevent water from getting inside. Like I say, there's the clip. That feels like grease inside of there. And I'm sure that's probably what it is. Some kind of something to repel water or at least keep it out. I think I would prefer an O-ring there, though. I, would, I always like to see that. If I can get the tip off of it, we'll see if there's an O-ring in that. And she's loose. And it does have an O-ring in this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but there is an O-ring there. Okay, so that's weird, man. That's really strange. They put an O-ring in this part and an O-ring in the back of it. And no O-ring where the, the head screws onto the body. It's really odd. I don't know if the batteries are charged up. We're going to find out, though. Yeah, 22... 100 milliamps, 3.7 volts. The light really feels very hefty and very well built. I'm, real, I'm, I'm disappointed there's no O-ring in this head thing. Let me look at that one more time because that's really odd. I'll probably put one there myself. No, sir. There's no O-ring there. There actually looks like a, a groove. I don't know if you can see this. Right where my fingernail is. There's a groove there at the end of the threads that look like... Looks like maybe where an O-ring should be. I don't know. Maybe it's a... Maybe they just forgot to put it on this one. Hard to tell, but... I really would like to see one on there, and I'll probably put one on there myself. So... You can see it's a well-made light. I think I read where they were made out of uh, some kind of aluminum. Something, I forget, but... Oh, wow, man. <laughs> I knew it was going to be powerful. Now, I'm impressed the batteries are charged, by the way. They're probably not full charged, but they're pretty bright. Okay? This light has three modes to it, okay? When you turn it on... 
and then you lightly press the uh, button see it got dimmer there and I there again the camera adjusts automatically so it may not get this but there's uh, the second brightest press it again and it's the lowest beam okay so you have low medium and high beams and high is very bright don't ever point this in someone's eyes unless you're you know using it as a tactical tool <laughs> which it, it's designed for that okay press it again and you get this uh, very annoying strobe but you know that's good too if you're being attacked you hold the the thing in your hand use the ring part because it's got uh, it's designed to uh, mess flesh up bang them in the head with it you know and then shine that in their eyes and uh, you know that that's just to uh, help distort them in the way they think <laughs> you know <laughs> to throw them off guard now this mode how many of you know what that is? That's actually an SOS signal in Morse code. So if you were down and out and in trouble, you know, and you couldn't move very much, that would really be handy if someone that knows uh, uh, Morse code saw it. <laughs> but that's what that is. Then you press it again it goes back into high power. Let me see if the camera's getting it. There's brightest, dimmer, dimmer, strobe, and SOS. So there's obviously some circuitry built into this. And uh, maybe an IC chip in there somewhere. I got a probe here. I should check it. But uh, it's a little... I'm a little concerned about no o-ring in the head. You know what? Let me put glasses on because I really can't see very good without them. And really examine that one more time because I don't know, man. I just there should be an o-ring right there. there's not and there's no o-ring inside of here you can look at it yourself I'll pull this thing up out of the way hopefully you can see that it may look like there's an o-ring there but there's not like I say there is a little groove right between these black threads these black threads down here and the shiny threads there's a groove in between those and it's not for this clip to ride in because the clip rides all the way right there so I'm wondering if maybe an o-ring was supposed to have gotten put in there when they were building this maybe they just missed one I don't know but I'm gonna put an o-ring in it you can bet on that I am gonna do that so uh, yeah man MX6 Tota Lohan. There's the name. Tota Lohan MX6. Powerful flashlight. I knew it would be. I just wish, man, it had those. Uh... Okay, there's the middle mode. All right, now you got a big wide circle there. To beam that in on a spot, you just pull the the head out it shines into a square I'll take you outside just a minute and we'll really try it out it's cold as hell out there but we'll do it anyway that's that is just unbelievably bright I'm telling you that thing is man I'm surprised it doesn't cut my table like a laser <laughs> and that's on the middle mode there's the lowest mode Check the lowest mode with the J5 Tactical. Wow, God, you can't even hardly see the J5. There it is a little bit, but... J5 Tactical. MX6. And like I say, it is a tactical flashlight as well. Because it's got, you know, it's just built... You could, you could club someone in the head with this. I'm telling you, you could do it, man. And do some real damage to them. Let's take them outside. We'll shine them across the street. 
and I'll show you, uh, I'll compare it to a J5 Tactical. I've got a brand new battery in this one in my pocket. So hold on. Okay, we're outside now. And it's cold out here. I'm just going to show you really, really quickly. Uh, if you can see that pole over there. I showed this to you before when I did the review on the J5 Tactical Light. Let me get the pole in the center of the screen here because it's... There you go. Now you can see that that light pole, okay? This is a J5 Tactical now, remember. And that pole is about 30 yards away. So it's a pretty good distance for this tiny light. Okay. Here comes the big one. Now you can definitely see the pole now. Check that out. Unbelievable. That's a, that's a 30 yards away, folks. There it is on uh, the second brightest mode. Now I went into SOS. And there it is on dim. No, there it is on dim. Okay, that's dim. That's as low as it'll go right there. And that is brighter than the J5 I just showed you. So uh, let's get back in the house. It's cold out here and we'll wrap it up. It's a little odd. The uh, My understanding of this uh, light that I was going to receive was a MX6. Okay? But this light on the side of it, it says XML-T6. So I don't know. Maybe they changed their, their uh, the way they model them or something, name them. But there you can see it. XML dash T6. So I can get the light right for you. There you go. Now, I've got a clip on the side. Like I say, you can put this thing in strobe mode and bang somebody in the head. The strobe mode will disorient them by itself, probably, or put them into a seizure or whatever. Uh, talking about the, uh, in comparison to the J5 Tactical, now you guys that bought these know how bright they are for a tiny light. If memory serves, they were like from 250 to 300 lumens, I believe is what it was. I, you can look it up yourself. This light is nearly 1,000 lumens. I think it's 960 to be exact. So in comparison, you know, you can kind of figure uh, how much brighter it is if you have one of the J5 Tacticals. They both have the Cree diode. Uh, you can get more powerful batteries for the little ones, uh, the J5 Tacticals, as I said, but it's not going to be anything like this. It's not going to be no 960 lumens, I can tell you that. But, yeah, man, it's a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit bulkier. But uh, that SOS code, you know, that could, that could be a very important factor in determining which light you're going to buy. You know, in this world and day and time we live in, things happen that we least expect. And, you know, if you was out in the woods somewhere and you got cracked in the head or an arm cut off or whatever, broken leg, and somebody's coming by on an ATV or something, you know, shoot the S SOS code at them and pray that they know... Uh, Morse code, <laughs> or that, at least that much of it. But that's uh, about all I can tell you about the light. Uh, I notice, kind of funny on the bat on the box, it's got it had all these warning caution stickers. Caution: lithium ion battery. You know, I know they're dangerous. If one of them would blow up, it would blow your hand off, more than likely, or damage it very bad. But uh, it said if there was any damage at all to the box to return it to them, I thought that was pretty cool. Because some of the, uh, some of the uh, people that delivers mails very hard on packages, even though they've got fragile marked on them. I guess uh, the ones, that box is in good shape, so uh, maybe if you want to mail something safe, put a sticker on it that says uh, contains lithium ion batteries and they'll handle it very gently. So anyways, there's uh, my review on the light and the comparison with the J5 Tactical lights I showed you in another video. 
And uh, the only thing, the only thing that I see that I don't like about this is that O-ring in the head, not having an O-ring there. It's got one in the tip up here. It's got one in the, the, the rear piece of it. But where the head mounts onto the body, and I'm wondering if there might be another one. That obviously doesn't come apart. But there should be an O-ring in that too. Especially that moving part. When you go from a wide to a spot. This one's definitely going to get an O-ring right here. I'm going to put one in it. Because I like the light that much. And like I say, they're a little bit bigger, a little bit bulkier, a little bit heavier. But they do have a whole lot of advantages. I mean, you know, that would, man, that would hurt up again the side of your head. Or if you came at them this way, it would hurt even more with that bright, bright uh, strobe, you know, flickering in your eyes. I guarantee you it will damage your eyes if you look into it. 960 lumens are, uh, <laughs> that's quite a bit of light. Let me show you up close one more time. what it looks like I try try to get the light as good as I can here very nice and there's the on and off switch and huge lens I don't know if you're if you're seeing inside of there or not. There's a Cree LED in there, which is also a very nice thing. Uh, so uh, I don't know. I'd say between a one and a ten. I would probably. Well, I want to use it a little bit, see how the battery life does. You know, like I say, I wanted to save opening it so y'all could see exactly how you're going to receive it. If you buy one of these or order one from this link down below here in the video. Uh, anything else? Between a 1 and a 10. I probably would give it a 9. Because the O-ring's missing. There's no O-ring there. Maybe they build them and they don't put one there. But like I say, there's a little groove in there. That looks like perfect place for an O-ring to go. But... Uh, I, don't know, I just find that really weird that there's none there, but there is down here on, on this end and on the end where the lens screws on those O-rings. There should be one where the head screws onto the body, and there's probably, there should be another one on this moving head part. Yeah, the two pieces here that are separating, there should be an O-ring in there somewhere, but it doesn't come apart there, it doesn't appear to. So that's about all I can think of. Uh, I, I'm really happy with it. Uh, it's my only complaint, and that's not bad. I mean, a 9 out of 10 is a pretty good rating, I think. So if you like these, look in the link below, click on it, go see how much they cost. And uh, you've already seen what was in the box, exactly how it will arrive, or probably exactly how it will arrive, when you receive yours, if you do it. I hope the video was helpful. And uh, I hope I didn't forget anything. I always forget stuff. And at the end, after I turn the camera off and unhook it and all that crap, I remember. So uh, I, th I think I covered everything. This is like a rubberized material. And you know, it could be the life of the life. The light could be maybe just uh, water resistant, not waterproof. There's a big difference. If it was waterproof, you could turn it on, throw it underwater, and everything would keep working. If it's just water resistant, a little water could get in, you know, and will, it would get in around where there's no O-ring in that one place. I'll put an O-ring in this one, and, and and I suggest if you get one, and it doesn't have that O-ring in the head right here, where the head screws onto the body, right here, that you get one, find one, put a rubber band, something in there, to seal that thing from water. Put a little bit of grease in it if nothing else. Grease is always good even with O-rings. should lubricate those O-rings. So there you have it folks. The MX-6. 
I was told, but it says on the side of it, XML-T6. Maybe it means the same thing. I don't know. Uh, I'll show you the batteries one more time. Up close. I didn't do that, I don't think. The same company that makes the light makes the batteries. And I know you're not going to be able to read all that little stuff, but... That's probably... That's probably the battery number I would have to order. Replacement batteries from Total Ohan if I ever needed replacements. Now you got to keep in mind too, as bright as you've seen what this was, and how it overpowered that J5 Tactical. These batteries probably are not full charge. Uh, I doubt they are. So, probably going to be brighter than what you just saw with full charge batteries in it. I don't know how long it takes to charge the batteries. I didn't read up on that, and I don't care. As long as it charges them good, they, and they last, you know, for a good while in this light. So there you have it, another tactical flashlight. Uh, you can protect yourself with it. You can see in the dark. You can, uh, uh, it's got three different brightness settings. The strobe and the SOS signal setting. That circuitry in there must be uh, pretty, there's a lot of stuff packed into that little thing. And you know, maybe it's designed where if water does get in here, there's nothing up here that's going to hurt. Maybe all the circuitry is back in this, this large cap. You can see how big this is. You see, that's a pretty hefty cap. Probably got the circuitry in there, I would imagine. And it does have an O-ring on it, so that's good. That part, at least, would be protected from the water completely. So there you have it, friends. I hope you like it. Go check them out on the link. If you uh, like good flashlights, I highly recommend this. And... Uh, I think I'm going to really like this one. I've got some more uh, stuff that other companies want me to review. I'll get around to them eventually. Watch for that stuff. Stay tuned. All kinds of good stuff coming at you from the house that never sleeps. And uh, I'll see you then. Cheers. Just one more thing. I showed you this before. Now I've got sandpaper everywhere. I've been, I've been dressing frets today. so. Please forgive me. Here's a J5 Tactical with a brand new lithium AA battery in it. Okay? Uh, get where you can see the lights. I'm the same distance away. Alright, there's the J5 Tactical. There's the uh, MX6. J5 Tactical. MX6. I don't know if I'm on bright mode. I wasn't even on bright mode. There. Now I'm on bright mode. Check it out, man. J5 Tactical. See that? Brand new battery. Lithium. Double uh, A. And the MX6. There's no comparison, folks. See ya!